Hi, I'm Andrew Johns from Canaccord Genuity. I'm so excited to announce the launch of our socially responsible investment strategy. Our SRI strategy is something that our team's been working tirelessly on for the last year to assist our clients in ensuring that their investment strategy and their investments themselves are aligned with their principles and values, and it's finally here. So let's get right into it. There are three components to the SRI strategy. The first one is our Green Bond Program. Our Green Bond Program is an actively managed investment portfolio where we will assist our clients in ensuring that their capital is preserved, they've got great liquidity, and they're optimizing their returns in these types of investments. Just in the first half of 2019, there was $117 billion of green bonds issued around the planet. This is a fast growing industry and it aligns very nicely with a lot of our clients' uh, desires to ensure that their investment strategy and their investments align with their principles and values. We will help you in managing an active portfolio of green bonds, ensuring you have a strong preservation of your capital, excellent liquidity, and get the best returns possible in this sector. Component number two is our uh, partnerships we've developed with Canada's two largest Indigenous financial institutions. If your organization is interested in making sure that there's a reconciliation and support of the Indigenous communities, what better way to do it than ensuring that you invest some of your money with these organizations. Both of these organizations being Peace Hills Trust in Northern Alberta and First Nations Bank out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan have over 80% of their employees are Indigenous people they're nearly 100% owned by Indigenous communities. And these organizations are both located on reserve lands. These are organizations that are truly Indigenous-run, Indigenous-led, and support Indigenous communities. Component number three is the one I'm probably most excited about. It's our Impact GIC program. For the first time, our clients can now align their principles and interests in the way in which they invest their funds. With the Impact GIC program, no longer can banking institutions who are part of this be allowed to invest your funds in the market at their discretion. We have both a negative and positive filter that these banking institutions have to adhere by. Specifically in the negative filter would be obvious ones. They cannot lend your funds to companies that are involved in the manufacturing of weapons or businesses that are producing pornography, as examples. But more importantly is the positive filters. Using the United Nations, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, 17 goals, uh, we are making sure that these banking institutions lend their money, lend your money, shall I say, out into the marketplace, uh, supporting businesses that are led by women, supporting businesses that uh, assist in diversity in the workforce, businesses that help support local farmers and food production, businesses that help uh, uh, affordable housing project programs, businesses that help in developing sustainable energy or green or clean water. To make sure our Impact GIC program runs in a legitimate fashion, we've engaged the services of Rise Capital, a market-leading consulting firm who's passionate about Impact GICs and sustainable investment strategies. We will be having Rise of Capital provide for our clients a quarterly report of all the lending activity that our banking institutions who are part of this program are involved with. This report will prov provide a summary for our clients of how their funds are truly being deployed back into local communities to assist in making sure that their values and principles are aligned with the way their money is being invested. I look forward to speaking with you further about our Impact GIC program. I'm very excited about it. I'm sure you will be too.